Hi everyone, my name is Julian. I'm an engineer with CAD Tools, and today we're here to level up your layers game using the CAD Layers panel. So to get things started, we're actually gonna be opening up two panels today. First of which is of course the CAD Layers panel. To do that, we're gonna to navigate to Window, CAD Tools, and then down to CAD Layers. We are also gonna be opening up the native Illustrator Layers panel to help us illustrate and drive this conversation. And to do that, we'll navigate to Window, and then down to layers. So before we dive into maybe the technical aspects of the layers panel, I just wanted to talk about what it is that we're trying to do here, what the idea of philosophy behind the CAD layers panel is. The CAD layers panel, in short, is something that allows you to really manipulate your layers in a much more intuitive and efficient manner. So what that means is we're looking at right now a some workshop plans, and we have the ability to basically toggle between different aspects of those plans. So for instance, we can look at our fire suppression system, we can look at our electrical system, and we can quickly toggle between those instead of having to hunt down the layers that uh, comprise those layer groups inside of the native layers panel. So to kind of help illustrate that and kind of dive into more of the technical aspects here, we can look at the layer that we are looking at right now, or the layer group that we are currently have selected in a view state with this eye right there, is the walls and dimensions. If we open that up, we can actually see that the walls and dimensions layer group is comprised of three individual layers that are available over in our native layers panel. We have the dimensions layer, we have this new walls, and then we have existing walls. So we can collapse that, and we can notice that each one of these groups is going to be comprised of its own set of, of layers. We can edit those by clicking on one of those groups, clicking this uh, little pencil icon for the edit, and we have the ability to, to adjust what is in one of these layers. So for instance, we could decide that we would like to have, um, let's say, our alarm system, our alarm security system inside of the electrical layer and we could you know we could change the name if we wanted to we can hit okay and then we can see that now we have the alarm layer inside of our electrical layer i'm going to go ahead and edit that back out and we can toggle that on and see what it looks like so again driving that idea that we can quickly move between different systems or different layouts right now we're looking at fire suppression we're looking at networking security workshop equipment, furniture, again, really makes it easy for you to move between those. So maybe let's say that with these plans, we need to send something off to a fire marshal. And to do that, we are going to create a new group. So we'll click that little new, new group icon, and then let's choose what things we wanna put in there. So let's do our existing walls, our new walls, include our dimensions in case we need them. We can do our electrical, and then we can do fire extinguishers. Then we're gonna call this fire marshal and hit OK. And then you'll see that now we have a unique group that is just that fire marshal view. Let's talk about some of these other icons here. So you'll notice that anytime the entire group doesn't all share the exact same state, you will have at the top level here, this outline of the icon. So like over here, we have some of these are visible, but others aren't. So we can kind of see these mixed states right here. So as you kind of probably saw or uh, inferred from why it clicks around here, when we click on one of these view categories, it is manipulating what you can see in the actual native layers panel. Similarly with this lock icon, you're gonna see that that is going to affect the, the native lock. The one thing that we don't have an easy pass through for here is our ability to print everything. So this is a little printer icon. And what that is doing is, let's say we want to take this dimension layer out of our print for when we send it out to the fire marshal, we don't actually need to have dimensions for them. So that is a shortcut that would normally be done by selecting the layer that we don't want to print, going into the options for the layer, and then unchecking that print box. So you'll see how that manipulates right there. So just kind of a little bit of a convenience feature to save you some clicks, especially because this is under the guise of, you know, you're sending something off for you need to do networking or security in this particular example. And you might not want to print everything in that category when you go print it off for whatever party is requesting it. Um, just gives you the ability to quickly make those edits without having to, to dive uh, into the layers panel, figure out what sub layers you're, you care about, and then actually selecting that print icon. Of course, we can always just get rid of things if we don't want them. 
So right here, we are going to delete our fire marshal group. It turns out we didn't need it and voila, it is gone. So that covers everything we need to talk about in the CAD layers panel. Of course, you can always go here to adjust some of the finer settings or have a little bit more global control in this little flyout menu. But I think that is really everything we have to talk about. So hopefully you learned something here today. Um, maybe your workflows just got a little bit easier and faster now that you know about the CAD layers groups. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time. We will see you next time.